So guys, welcome back to Motorsport Manager. In the last episode, we have decided to now manage East Spirit GP in the second tier of um, this series. And I went over why I, I moved to this team in the last episode, but this should help us now in getting more, I don't know, like better results and stuff. Because we're with a top team now, apart from, like and we're not with a, a lower team like ZRT. But what I've done, just before we go into practice, what I've done is I have, if we go to fit parts, I've got a new front wing here. This reliability is currently being upgraded so that we have a good amount of reliability so we don't basically have to repair the part. And we need reliable parts because at the moment, if we look at the standings, we are, we've got, we've got drivers in fourth and seventh, so... Orvine is in fourth and Navarro is seventh and overall we're third within the championship. We have to outscore Bo Aspirants, which is the second best team. And that's probably going to be a little bit tricky, but we'll see how it goes. However, this is my first ever race and practice session with them. Um, just before we get into it, we'll need to look at the rules, unfortunately. Okay, so I found the rules. It didn't take me too long. Um, I'll just scroll through these really slowly. Um, and then you can pause the video if you want to read like what all the rules are. However, the the points of the top six, that's going to be very tricky because we had it for the top ten before. Oh, no, we didn't actually. Um, we had it for every single driver. Um, so that, then we have bonus points for the fastest lap and pole position, which we want to go for. And there's a load of different other rules. Um, basically, everything can be developed. We get uh, basically a qualifying session as well, which we never did before. But um, I'm looking forward to this. I want to see how these drivers get on. So um, I'll jump to the end of practice and I'll let you guys know how the session's gone. So we're at the end of practice. It's uh, third for uh, Ovin with a, with a pretty good time. And not much slower, believe it or not, is uh, Navarro. So between the top teams within... This practice session, I think about three tenths, more or less, separated Ovin and Navarro. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. I think it's 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 amazing because he's he's been the fastest on the medium. What can I say? Well, we're going to continue. Um, nothing is on here. Well, we're going to advance to qualifying now to see uh, where we're going to end up on the grid. And the heavens have opened. Right, so this is going to be funny. This is going to be great. So, um, we can have this thing now called a qualifying trim, which we can use. Basically, that makes us faster in quali. Um, oh, we need to put the soft tyres on as well. Because we're all going to be using those. Um, so, right. This happened. In practice so I'm trying to now but I have to try and balance it so our objective is to finish fourth or above um, this is where we need to finish basically fourth um, so what we're going to do is going to send out our best man in qualifying uh, which is Orvin so we're gonna put them on the softs we're gonna send out then what we're gonna do is we're going to send this guy out, but we're not going to send him out straight away because we need to give him space. So Orvine's going to get out first. Oh, wait. I've just realised what I've done. Right, we might get away with, with this. I don't know. We'll see. Oh. We've got, yeah, we've got, we've, we've got this now. We've got this now where we have to... Oh, I hate this because it's, it's annoying. You have to get everything like in the right temperature zones. It's very difficult. Because in the braking zone, you've got to back off, but on the stretch, you've got to like push. Push, 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 push. That's what you've got to do. Ah, near enough. We're going to wait. Ah, yes. So it is going to get better. It's going to get better. So instead of being stupid, we're going to wait a little bit. 
Right, that's good. Right, he's done a good lap. And now I'm going to send Navarro out in his lap. We could call this. We could call this absolutely spot on. Yes, I think we've done it. We've done it pretty well, to be honest. Um, so he's just come out the pit lane. Let's speed up. Now the tyres will heat up a lot easier. And he's going to do his lap. And he's going to absolutely smash the rest of the field. It's all about tactics and qualifying. It's what we didn't have before. We're going to overheat our brakes, lords. It's annoying. So you, you can't you can't time where the temperature zones are. Ah, right. That might hamper our time a little bit. Right, so he's on his lap. Um... Uh, do I have a ta Do I have another? Right, I'm going to send Oveen out again. Just because I can. And I need to. Right, so now Navarro's on his fine lap. The way I'm going to do these qualifying sessions, though, is I'm going to concentrate on one driver on the out lap. And then once they've done that, they do, they do everything else. I, I don't do anything. So we might just get another lap in here before it starts getting wet. And then we can just like basically chill out in the garage. Till the end. Oh, it's overheating. It's very difficult to get this spot on. Very, very difficult. You have to know the track. It's better to have overheated brakes, I think, than tyres. Because tyres are really, really useful. Back off. Come on. Right, he's good. Oh. Starting to rain again. Come on, you Ovin, you've got to do something. It's one two for us at the moment. Alright, we'll we'll skip to the end because it, it's pointless now. Going out. I think we've made the most out of the weather. Some of the other teams have as well. But I think their yeah, their lap's gonna be spoilt. Ovin or Ovin. Right, let's concentrate on Ovin. Ah, oh, It wasn't good enough, but look how Look how fortunes change in practice, though. Navarro's slightly quicker. Just by just short of eight uh, hundredths of a second. That's unreal. We're, we're on with a very good chance here. And um, we'll just skip to the end as well. I want to see where the other teams finish. Well, Bo Asperenza, I don't know where they, they are anyway. I don't know if it's two sessions or just one. Well, I think that's 1-2 for us. Yes. Yes, Navarro. Yes. That's one point for him. That's the extra point for him. For his championship. And he's trailing Oveen, believe it or not. <sighs> Wonderful. 1-2 for eSpirit GP. We've got Ricardo Costa of MRT Valbuena. In third and Woodford for Chariot in fourth. Let's see where Asperenza started. So Page here is seventh. And where's the other one? Last. Okay, here's the race. Fourth or above will guarantee us 400,000 as a bonus. We'll, we'll see how the race goes. Anything can happen in the race. Um, so we've got soft tyres and race trim. And then we've got soft tyres, race trim. We don't need these, really. Um, okay, the handling was a bit weird there. But somehow Navarro got first. A bit weird. So what I'm going to do... Push. And high engine mode. So we've got performance gains here. However, I don't want Oveen to overtake Navarro. That's that's what I want, essentially. But here we go. Let's Let's go into the race. Okay, five red lights to the start of our first one-two for East Spirit. On board with Oveen, if I can not mess up everything. Lights out, Oveen's had a terrible start. Okay, let's push. He's fourth, bloody hell. Oh, no, Navarro's locked up. Out of... Oh my god, this couldn't go any worse. Now Oveen's in the lead. Of our group. Oh my god. See, anything can happen in the race, and Navarro's now f bloody hell. 
That's what I get, isn't it? That's what I get. Now he's... T oh, my... Jesus Christ, that couldn't go any more wrong from Paul to ninth in less than a couple of corners. Jeez. If we've got anything on our favour, it's my strategies. Oh, we're defending very hard. Oh, no. Lost two places. I oh, lost two places. Right, this is a battle. Need to be careful with the fuel, though. I think if we back off a little bit. If we don't push too much, because those tyres are going to wear out before I was anyway, so we're going to effectively get a free place. Because um, Pagier, Pagier's tyres are dead. Completely dead. And we need to um, conserve with, with Navarro a little bit. I think what can get Navarro back into this is um, a, a shot at the medium compound. Norveen is now getting overtaken. Oh, no flag. Oh, yellow flag in sector one. What's happened? Oh, 20th's gone. Leclerc of uh, Ruiz Motorsports now completely gone from the race. Right, you need to save fuel. Jesus Christ. I wonder if these allow refueling. Oh, they do. Okay. Right, that makes my that makes me a little bit easier now, so we'll push on. We can refuel. Right, Orvain's in the in the very, very good situation now. Pitting. Third will be pitting. Second will be pitting. Oh well third isn't pitting. Second is pitting. And first is not pitting. Right. We need to pit Navarro now then. Um he's gonna go on the mediums because he needs to. All good. We're gonna go balanced. Navarro really does need to, to come in. Because he is absolutely horrendous. Ovin's up into third. Let's see. We're not going to have any mistakes. Absolutely spot on. That's what we need. So now we just need to play the long game. Right, what's going to happen? They're going to pit in. For me to have a shot, I need to know what strategy they're going on. Medium tyres here, soft tyres, right, we, we, we can we can risk another lap. Oh no, I don't even want to risk another lap. Right, I'm going to pit. Softs, fuel stays same, parts fine. We're going to go balanced again. We're not going to fuel up unless it's absolutely necessary. Here, we, here he is, he's in the pit lane, Oveen, where's he going to come out? Okay, we've got a few people. Okay, I've got a few people. Oh, look at that! Where does he come out? Paget. Our strategies worked, believe it or not. <laughs> this is going to be a bit touch and go, but as long as we stay ahead of Paget, which we are, and I think Navarro is going to catch up. Right, we're just going to have to. We're going to have to go full attack, overtake mode, and everything. Or oh, virtual safety car. Okay, here we go. We've got... Oh, wait. Someone else crashed out the race as well. Ovin's fifth still. So that's okay. So we can still keep pushing on. Paget's fallen down. Uh, so we can, we can afford to not wreck the tyres as much. In the pit lane. Ovin's up to third. This is going to be good. Costa, I think, has got the advantage at this point. Navarro's 11th. And someone's in the pit lane. Yeah, Navarro's just going to keep going around. He's going to conserve his tyres. Navarro can still get back into this after his little crash. Oh my god, Tech 2. What's happened now? Uh, who's crashed? Oh, well. Wow. That's why I conserve, guys. That's why I conserve with... With some drivers. Alright, let's. Oh, yes! What a move! Second for Ovin now. Batista's in the pit lane, he's got repairs. It's still on, guys. The wind's still on. Probably not for Navarro, which I'm kind of disappointed about, but could be on. Oh, 
Seventh for Navarro after someone's in the pit lane. Come on. Come on, Navarro. I have faith in you. I have all the faith in you. Let's back up a little bit with Oveen. Let's have a look quickly at Oveen where he is. Back up a little bit. Can't get past Costa. It's okay, though. Let's just conserve. Just back off a little bit. And now we wait for this. And then all we do is basically push when we get the chance, which is now... Yes. Excellent. Excellent work. Right, so Olveen's going to have to pit. He's going to have to pit. Um, fuel options. Alright, so what's the tyres? 15 to 17 laps. Okay. Ooh, we can do this. We can do this. Oh, yes. Yes. This is excellent. Fill up. I don't think he needs 21 laps. Uh, having a little bit of extra fuel is always good because you need it. Uh, brakes are okay. Yep, everything's everything's good. We're gonna go for a balance pit stop. Do that tenth. Right, that's okay. I'll deal with that. Navarro's gonna have to stay out a little bit. Uh, fourth's fat, like fourth's completely somewhere else. Fourth's just too far ahead. To be fair, I could risk it. Because uh, our our rivals of uh, Page and Rodriguez are way down the field, so we have the ability to do whatever we want with Navarro now. Um, so basically, I'm going to see what these tyres do. Ten to twelve laps, just to say, makes it to the end. Um, we'll hold for now because the tyres are okay. Um, Oveen's going to have to pit anyway. So there he loses first, but the win's still on. Oh, no. God's sake. Oh, no. Right. Right, so this is... Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, you know when I said, guys, that Navarro wasn't going to get much out of this race? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's happened. I can't but Oh, my God, no. What a... Ch oh, my God. What a change in fortune. What... What a change in fortune, guys. Oveen's crashed. Oveen's out of the race just after coming out of the pit lane. And that happened. Virtual safety car. That would deserve a full safety car. Navarro. Out of everything I've said, Navarro's going to be at the back end of the points. We're not going to really concentrate. He is now in third place. He's the only car left in the race. Paget's going to get seventh place. But Paget needs to catch up to Vidal. And I think Paget might do that. Because Vidal's tyres are not very good. We've got Navarro in third place. We need to push for this win. We have one car. He's going to get all the points. I can't believe you, you idiot. Can't believe that. I'm, I'm, I'm still shocked. I'm, I don't even know if we're going to get any points now. I have, I have faith though, because uh, all the other guys need to pit. Jesus, that, that, it's it's basically still shook me. It's unbelievable. Right, I've just look, I've just looked. It's six laps till the end of the race. Um, nothing's really happened. We still have a good shot at some points, if all one point. Um, I think Paget's in the pit lane. Paget is in the pit lane, and we just got out ahead. So uh, basically. We're only two points away. We've got Vidal who's paving his way through the traffic. He basically um, overtaken a Demon for seventh and is now pushing on ahead. Uh, at this point, we've got loads of spare fuel, which we need. And I need to conserve a little bit. And I think, I think what, oh God, we've got Rodriguez. Never mind. Uh, it was Rodriguez that's behind us. Uh, Paget was in fourth. So as long as we defend from Rodriguez, we should be sound, and our tyres are better. 
So that means I think we're in with a, uh, a shout anyway uh, at some points ahead of our rivals. But yeah, uh, we're quite close actually. We could get about fourth, but I don't, and that's probably out of the question, to be honest. Um, I need to back up a little bit. These tyres are just annoying. The tyres are not as good as what they were before. The other type, it's a, it's a completely different brand of tyre, and it, it just heats up so, so quickly. All right, we're going to overtake. I'm going to go overtake mod. I'm going to go neutral. I'm going to actually just go. Full on attack. I want to see if I can get past. Yes, you could. Whoa, hang on. What's just happened? I'm not even pitting. Hang on. Hang on. Stop. What's just happened? Someone just absolutely smashed right off. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> what even is this race? What what even is this race? Oh my god. Oh my god. Sort of being crashed. That was a disaster. But now I think we've just kind of had some good fortune with uh, Page. With, oh my god, Page just absolutely binned it. I can't, oh my god, I can't believe that. I cannot believe it. I've got 20 seconds left. Um, we're going to be ready to push because I am going to go for it. Oh, full on attack. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's begin. Right, full on attack. I'm overtaking as well. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of being trapped behind seventh place. Full on attack. Let's go. Down the inside. Yes, he's got a part issue. Up, up, up. I need to stop pushing. I need to stop pushing with the car. Suspension, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it because it's only two laps till the end of the race. Seventh place. I don't think we'll even get points now with that bloody issue. God's sake. Oh wait, what's going on? Oh, there's people with issues everywhere. Right, I'm not gonna go full on attack because that's not the best thing to do. We've got two laps left. I think we're just gonna I think I think what's gonna happen is none of our top Rivals are getting any points. We're not getting any points. Yeah, we're not just... Yeah, we're basically not going to get any points. However, we have a... Actually, we do have a shot at one point. That we need. Let's go overtake. See if we can bin... Uh, not bin the car, but let's see if we can, can get past. It's all on this last lap. It really is. I need to back up. Overtake mode's the best thing for this. Come on, final lap. I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to have to do it. Right now. <laughs> there we go. Now we just defend our backsides off. Against Ro um, Rodriguez. Oh my god. Sixth place. We're not pushing for fifth. It's pointless. We could make it. Although I don't have any confidence in our suspension. Uh, we could have actually probably pushed if we didn't have that suspension issue. I'm probably going to push a little bit now. Just so we don't fall victim here. Not too far away from the finish line. Uh, I think we could have pushed. We could have pushed for fifth. We could have got another couple of points. Um, however, it wasn't too shabby Navarro. And uh, if Ovin had been still running, I think we would have actually got our sponsor objective. And we would have finished at the top. Well, what a race that was. That was absolutely unreal. We just, to say, got one point. That's, that's what happened. So, basically, that was a bit of a weird race. Bo Asperenza, at one point, we had... Paget breathing down our necks and we had to do something and then he crashed. Death. Wow, nice one. Crashed. Ovin crashed. I don't know how he crashed. It's just, it's weird. Uh, we're not going to break any rules at all. And, well, it, that, yeah. Guys, that's just proved it. 
I forgot he had the fastest lap. Did Navarro in um, qualifying. So at the end of the day, before I started this race, I calculated that we'll need to outscore Bo Asperenza by at least three points for us to, I think it was to draw or to get ahead of them. So I think we've got ahead of them now because um, um, Navarro's got three points. Um, Navarro's dropped down somehow. Um, he's got eight points. Um, so basically, he's still within a shout at catching Oveen anyway in, in the championship. Uh, Paget's still ahead, unfortunately. By eight points, though, Oveen showed his potential. So if he doesn't crash, fingers crossed that would work. We've outscored Bo Asperenza by three points. We closed that lead now down to seven. Oh my god, and it's after six rounds. This is halfway in the season. This is where it's going to hot up. We're not going to get first. Second's on the cards, though. Um, I was I was really disappointed with that race. Oveen was was showing potential. Well, at the end of that, we uh, we still got five hundred thousand, so I'm not exactly crying over nothing uh to be honest it was it was just pointless that Alvin crashed his car like, like honestly i'm not very happy with that crash heavy race in yokohama calls for stronger safety precautions if the APS's safety regulations have been called into question after a car crashed and retired during, well, at least one, there was like loads, crashed and retired during today's race. Uh, the Portuguese driver, what? Beat his ri nearest rivals, De Wolf and Inglou, to stop step at the podium with the world just race. All right, fair enough. Winning, uh, Emati Valbuena, boss, blah, blah, blah. Right. Okay. So, uh, Great. Navarro's got an injury. Excellent. Just what we need after a race where one of our cars just crashed. Um, I tried to extend Navarro's contract pre like before recording this episode and he didn't want to. However, he enjoys being at the team now, so that's good. Um, so he's not going to be listening to offers. So we have a driver defo for the future. I'm, I'm kind of glad about that. Um, neck problems. Nice one. Eight weeks. Pit crew review. One pit mistake. Yeah, I know that. Oh, that, if without that mistake, we would have probably got another place. We could say that for anything. Let's have a little uh, interview here. Let's talk about Spencer Ovin's crash. Where does the fault lie? He's a bad mistake. He needs to uh, have a long, hard look at himself. Must have been an issue with the car. Um, well, he's going to have to look at himself. I'm sorry, but that's... The way I see it is... It was his error. I did not ask him to push. To be honest, um, so yeah, it was his. It was his doing completely. And now we've got more people to hire on this department, and we need to do this. And to be honest, we're fifth best for the pit crew. We're nowhere near at the top. Absolutely nowhere near. Right, let's. Uh, Let's take a look at our mail. A car repair finished. So guys, unfortunately, we didn't have the best episode there. Although it was promising, and I'm still confident that we can push on with Ovin and Navarro to get up the championship a little bit. I know Navarro's got a lot of work to do, and he's still within the championship. Um, at, at this point, he's still, mathematically, he's still able to finish somewhere at the top. With, you know, qualifying, if he can do just as good as what he did, like, in Yokohama, maybe we can, you know, have a good Dubai race. But I don't know with this team, because we need to settle in a little bit. We need to do a few races, we need to do the rest of the season, and then all of next season to really kind of see what the potential is. And the potential from that race is, with high downforce circuits, this car's sound. It's good. It will beat the top guys, and qualifying just proved that. 
But that's going to be the end of our first ever race with East Spirit GP and this episode of Motorsport Manager. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Next time out, we're going to be uh, doing the Dubai race. And I'll, in the meantime, I'll do a little bit of admin within the team, sorting out some new pit crew and maybe doing some more upgrades, maybe scouting a couple of staff because at the minute our staff's level's not exactly great. So that's going to be it from me, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe for more indie and simulation game content, and I shall see you all next time.